Well, hello and welcome to a very different kind of Q&A. Yes, it's Team Australia, so we thought you'd bring you down to the sort of natural habitat, down to the beach, although none of you seem that happy about being on the beach. But anyway, OK, so we've got all of your questions that have come in. So thank you so much for your questions. First of all, the question from Russ says, is there anything special you do before a meeting? Now we've all got, yeah, Lemo is always on his phone as normal. But uh, we, um, <laughs> yeah, we just have our normal routine and we, we get up the the right time maybe some riders go for a little bit of a warm-up and we normally eat the same food um, we're in Russia now so the food's a little bit different but yeah we just try to keep to the same routine okay Mark are you trying to cause disturbances already with your mobile phone Would never do such a thing <laughs> okay so who's got the worst taste in music in the team I don't really know what everyone's got on their playlist but is that because it's you Probably, yeah, but I'm just going to take a stab in the dark and say Lemo. <laughs> I feel like Mark's picking up quite a lot of flack this morning. That's the reason why he's here, isn't it? So we can give him some, uh, some stick. Okay, so you get to answer this question then. Who's the most annoying in the team? Certainly this man of three. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, he's a, he's a challenge, I must admit. You know, he's, a, he's a hard work at times, but uh, he delivers for that for the team. So we got we bounces itself out. Okay, I don't believe a word of it, Jason. I don't Can believe I tell a word the truth. Yeah. But last night he's a bit upset still, a bit touchy. I told him um, don't told the boys don't listen to Lemo halfway through the meeting and this is why he's upset, so he's he's saying now I'm the annoying one. Do you wanna contribute anything to this? It's getting a bit awkward. Oh no, not really. I'll just leave it up to them too. Okay, all right. Um, so, do you feel the pressure more after leading after day one? I think it puts us in a good position for today. Um, the first day is just set, all about setting us up for, to, for today. Um, so, at the minute, I think it's, you know, there's a little bit of pressure there, but at the same time, you know, it's a, another meeting today. So, we just need to, to keep doing what we're doing and deliver. Okay, so you've got to go to a desert island with just one teammate, and they're going to be there for the rest of your life. Who's it going to be? Why do we have to have a bunch of boys in the team? <laughs> yeah, you, you see, that's how Speedway works at the moment. <laughs> Sorry, Emily. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, uh, I'd probably take the little fella, Jamin. He's, he's easy going and he's, he's been pretty good for us this year. It's, it's nice to have uh, new, fresh blood in the team, so I'd say, say the young guy. Is this because you're staying out in the domestic? Well, I don't know, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Max, who would you take? I think... Uh, at this rate, everyone's going to say Jamin because he's so easy going. <laughs> but uh, if we're after a bit of entertainment, maybe Doily. Okay, Mark, it's all right. You can go alone. Yeah, well, Jamin spends a lot of time. He stays at my place in the UK. So uh, I spend enough time with him. I know what he's like okay. you know, domestically. So uh, I'd probably go with JD. He seems the most tightest and uh, looks after himself and uh, does his own thing. So we could, we could probably be all right on the, on the island. Okay, all right, interesting. Okay, so what do you miss most about Australia? Yeah, family, I guess. Um, being away for eight months, nine months a year is probably, we miss uh, our parents a lot. Um, also, milestones for our, my sister's got family as well and you get to, uh, you never get to see their birthdays and that. So I'd say just the main, main thing is the family side. Okay. Any random food you miss? Uh, I think the roast dinners, Sunday roast <laughs> dinners back home. The food's a lot different over in Europe and um, yeah, I think I just miss the roast dinners. Okay, Sunday. that's a good choice. What about you, Max? Um, on the food side of things, it's definitely uh, a home cooked meal from your family, but um, yeah, there's always all the little sweets and things like that we get at home, which uh, are nice to, nice to have whilst we're home and then uh, you've got to put up with everything over here until we go back. Okay, well, Mark, Bruce wants to know how you keep control of this rubble. <laughs> <laughs> I know, uh, control is probably not the right word, to be quite honest. Uh, we manage... Um, Nah, but in fairness, you know, we've come here as, as a group and we're, and we're, we've got one, one humanitarian mission, uh, so our visas say. Um, so it's, 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 it's quite easy, to be fair. You know, um, you know these guys are, you know what their jobs are, and, but you know, we have a bit of fun when we get away from it and relax. And uh, as long as we don't go swimming in the, the, the Volg or whatever the name of the river is here, we'll be we're pretty cool. So yeah, it's, all, it's all been good so far. All right, thanks so much, guys. That was your Q&A with Team Australia. Enjoy today.